You are listening to the Daily Gospel Reflections with Sister Cloth. This podcast is brought to you by the Pauline's Multimedia. It is our mission to bring the Word of God to all peoples through sounds and images, voices, and music. Come and join us as we share with you a thought a day. A reading from the Gospel account of St. Mark, chapter 3, verses 20 to 35. The crowd came again so that Jesus and his disciples could not even eat. When his family heard it, they went out to restrain him, for people were saying, He has gone out of his mind. And the scribes who came down from Jerusalem said, He has Beelzebul, and by the ruler of the demons he casts out demons. And he called them to him and spoke to them in parables. How can Satan cast out Satan? If a kingdom is divided against itself, that kingdom cannot stand. And if a house is divided against itself, that house will not be able to stand. And if Satan has risen up against himself and is divided, he cannot stand, but his end has come. But no one can enter a strong man's house and plunder his property without first tying up the strong man. Then indeed, the house can be plundered. Truly I tell you, people will be forgiven for their sins and whatever blasphemies they utter. But whoever blasphemes against the Holy Spirit can never have forgiveness, but is guilty of an eternal sin. For they had said, He has an unclean spirit. Then his mother and his brothers came, and standing outside, they sent to him and called him. A crowd was sitting around him, and they said to him, Your mother and your brothers and sisters are outside asking for you. And he replied, Who are my mother and my brothers? And looking at those who sat around him, he said, Here are my mother and my brothers. Whoever does the will of God is my brother and sister and mother. Have an enjoyable Sunday and on the week ahead. While listening to the gospel, I felt so sorry for Jesus that even his own family were taken aback by the criticisms of the people who said, He has gone out of his mind. And worse still, when the scribes implicate Jesus with the works of the demon. St. Mark tells us that when his family heard it, they went out to restrain him. Why? Did they likewise suspect that Jesus was really out of his mind and not totally sold out to his divine power? Towards the end of the reading, St. Mark narrates that Jesus' mother and his brothers came and standing outside, they asked for him, wanting to talk to him. Talk to Jesus about what? The Gospel did not spell out whether it was out of deep concern for Jesus or to put a stop to his activities that they wanted to personally talk to him. All we heard from Jesus in response to those who said, Your mother and your brothers and sisters are outside asking for you was, Who are my mother and my brothers? I was struck by the commentary of one writer to the last verse which says, Whoever does the will of God is my brother and sister and mother. The writer says, If doing the will of God involves the incomprehension and even hostility of one's family, this is a price worth paying. I believe Jesus was referring to his mission of doing what the Father wills for him. And when he pointed to those people who were listening attentively to him with faith and great interest in his words and actions, Jesus wanted to make his critics 
understand that truly here are my mother and my brothers. Why did Jesus commend these people? Because they were able to perceive His divinity shining through and they believed Him as the Son of God. Look, Jesus' critics were around them, but they were not affected. They continued to live their faith in Him despite the prevailing circumstances. Reflecting on this thought, I am all the more motivated to fulfill God's divine will in my life, even amidst criticism, because in faith, I am following the footsteps of Jesus who experienced all kinds of non-acceptance, rejection, denial, defiance, contradictions, and the like. Lord, help me to seek you in all things, no matter what people say, and despite the challenges I face. Amen. Be with us again tomorrow as we share with you a thought a day. Meanwhile, you can follow us and listen to other Apple and Google podcasts on Spotify, produced by Pauline's Multimedia. Have a good day.